So we got a huge developing story going on right now between Sasha Banks and Sammy Guevara. For all of you unaware of who Sammy is, he's an AEW wrestler. He's heavily featured in their programming and plays a big role in Chris Jericho's inner circle faction. Sammy was doing well on AEW and had a big role on the show, but some old comments from Sammy just resurfaced from 2016 that has some fans disgusted, stunned, and want him gone. So here's the story. This all took place around 2016. Sammy was not fully signed to WWE at the time, but he was taking trips to the Performance Center and was frequently at the building. During a podcast in 2016, Sammy was going over his experiences in the Performance Center, people he met, people he came across, and other things like that. Sasha Banks somehow gets brought up into the conversation, and Sammy confirms that he did see her at the Performance Center while he was there. He looked like he was trying to imply that he liked her appearance, but he did it in the most unspeakable and disturbing way imaginable that no employer should ever tolerate at all, to say the least. This was not some secret private conversation that got leaked. This was his on-air comments from a published podcast in 2016, so he was fully aware that it was out there, and there's just no way around that at all. He said this on air and knew it was out there. So why now? Why is this podcast clip resurfaced now after four years? Well, over the weekend, there was this phenomenal moment on social media with the hashtag of speaking out. In this movement, wrestlers from all over the industry came out and told their darkest stories from the wrestling industry. A lot of people broke their silence and came forward with their stories. WWE superstars all tweeted their support for these wrestlers sharing their stories and encouraging them to keep it going. So it looks like the Sammy podcast clip was leaked by a fan or a wrestler that wanted to shine some spotlight on these extremely disgraceful comments from Sammy, since everyone was speaking out with their stories right now. It definitely worked and we have to give thanks to whoever brought these old comments from him to the spotlight. Sammy's comments has started a whole bunch of debates online. A lot of fans were saying, well, it was four years old. It was a long time ago. He was young. And that's a horrible way to look at it. Sammy wasn't young at the time of the podcast. He was 22 years old. He was an adult and fully aware of what he was saying at the time. To make things even worse, Sammy was in a relationship at the time of his comments about Sasha Banks. So, was his girlfriend aware of what he said? Is she accepting of it? A lot of questions and concerns here, no doubt about it. Fans are doing their part to make sure Sammy's sponsors and everyone connected with him are fully aware of these comments that he made. Fans discovered the agency that represents Sammy and they contacted them in reference to the Sasha Banks comments. There hasn't been any official statement from the agency at the time of this recording, but it's hard to imagine them still representing him after something like this resurfaces. WWE superstars weren't staying silent about these comments about Sasha Banks. Some of her fellow superstars came to her defense. Former NXT Women's Champion Rhea Ripley came to Sasha's defense with this on Twitter. Wow. It isn't something to joke about. It's a disgusting act done by messed up people. Grow up and stop joking about serious situations. Dakota Kai also commented on the situation and had this to say. Sasha is a queen. If anyone thinks that subject is okay to joke about, you are severely misinformed. Liv Morgan also commented on the situation and posted Sasha Banks' name along with the goat emoji, which of course means that she's calling Sasha the greatest of all time. Thousands upon thousands of fans all came out to show support for Sasha Banks after this story broke. Fans made threads posting their favorite pictures, favorite moments, and just everything they could do to show her some support and love. It was really a nice gesture from some of Sasha's co-workers to also make a quick tweet in support of her. That's always amazing to see when situations like this happen. All the fans and all the other superstars really unite to help elevate the person that's going through something. So you love to see that as well. As far as Sasha's response, she did retweet Drew McIntyre's tweet that said, For those speaking out, thank you. Your voices are heard. Your bravery is inspiring and is forcing a positive change that will shape the landscape of this business for generations to come. Sasha did also reveal that her and Sammy spoke right after the podcast clip leaked, and she had this to say on Twitter. Sasha Banks has publicly addressed the situation. Earlier, I spoke with Sammy. He apologized, and we had an open discussion. 
Words like the comments he made, jokingly or not, have absolutely no place in our society. I don't condone or tolerate this kind of behavior. What one thinks is just a side comment can have a massive impact on someone else's life and can send the wrong message. We have to hold ourselves accountable for our actions and the words we say, and I hope this situation shows him that. I hope from this point on, in order for growth and change within our community to take place, we can all continue to have these conversations. No person, man, woman, or child should ever be subjected to a feeling of fear or any unsafe environment. We all have to do better, not just for ourselves, but for generations to come. Sincerely, Mercedes Vernado. Sammy also released his own statement and apology on Twitter shortly after Sasha. He had this to say on Twitter. I've made stupid, inappropriate, and extremely offensive comments in my past. In my idiotic mind, I thought I was being funny and using words and terms that represented nothing but horror and pain. I am truly sorry for my hurtful words and actions. I will never forgive myself. I also want to apologize to Sasha Banks for my unacceptable comments. She's an amazing person who didn't deserve to be the brunt of my offensive remarks. I spoke with her earlier, and she helped me learn a gigantic lesson, and I thank her for that. Once again, I'm sincerely sorry. So that's great to know as well. We don't know who reached out to who first, but we assume that it was Sammy that must have reached out to talk to Sasha first. He most likely reached out to talk to her while this entire story was taking over social media Monday afternoon, and that was the right move. If Sammy would have just posted his tweet by itself, then that probably would have felt a little flat. But the fact that Sammy and Sasha both talked to each other and had a very long discussion about the entire situation is definitely a great thing. As Sammy said, Sasha did teach him a lesson, and he's grateful for that. AEW's official Twitter account also released a statement regarding Sammy's status late Monday afternoon. All Elite Wrestling had this to say, AEW insists on doing our part to create a world of understanding and respect for humankind. We therefore strongly condemn the extremely offensive and hurtful words of Sammy Guevara. As such, effective immediately, Sammy is suspended without pay until further notice. Sammy has agreed to undergo extensive sensitivity training and, upon completion, his future status within the company will be reevaluated. During his suspension, his salary will be donated to the Women's Center of Jacksonville. So that gives you a better idea of just how serious that really was. Sammy is suspended indefinitely without pay from AEW, and AEW will be donating his usual salary to the Women's Center of Jacksonville. A lot of people were looking at AEW to see how they would handle this situation, and a majority of fans were happy with their decision on what they did with Sammy. Like AEW stated, he will be going to sensitivity training, and once he has fully finished the course, that's when they will reevaluate his status in the company. So they're not confirming his return date at all for the time being. He still is suspended until further notice, but they said that they'll see how things are going after his course is completed. AEW acted fast because it's not like it's allegations or a rumor of what he said. Everyone has the actual audio of his voice with those comments so there's not much to really investigate here. Everything you need to know is right there in that podcast clip. So AEW knows right away what they had to do, and they did the right thing. Now, with Sammy being exposed for these comments, there are a few more people speaking up about other things he has reportedly said. So we'll have to see what happens there as well, and keep a very close eye on this situation. What are your thoughts on how the Sammy and Sasha Banks situation was handled? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.